so it's a nice day in the range and I have here my daughter Mary Hi. she's uh, using her Ruger 1022 and I'm using my Savage uh, 64F we're using uh, bulk uh, ammo from Federal this is a uh, 40 grain so we bought this uh, within this year it's uh, 800 uh, rounds in a box this one we bought this one two years ago the same uh, I think this was February and then the other one is March and we're doing this uh, comparison we we shoot this today in uh, 50 yards and then I tried because I was using uh, my Savage I was trying to uh, zero it for 100 yards and it's not really that accurate so we changed we zeroed the two rifles in 50 yards and then I tried to shoot my my daughter's 1022 um for the 100 yards and you can see in that far oh well i'm not fitting it yeah that's the 100 yards and then this is the 50 yards so we're gonna show you the the uh targets and how close it, it is on the uh the bullseye so when we arrived I fired my daughter's uh, 1022 and it's all like in this group we adjusted it up for an inch and it's all like inside this uh, circle it has three that are almost uh, bullseye and then the next uh, magazine look how close it is there's a flyer and then uh, I switch I use my uh, my um, savage and look it's more the group is more decent than when it is used for 100 yards and then after that i didn't use my my daughter's uh, rifle anymore i'm just using the uh, 64f and there's a nice group here and then here there's a flyer and then uh, my daughter she'll explain Explain how she did it. So what I did is that with my rifle, I tried to aim it with the, you know, like the plus signs and stuff. I tried to make it try and go to the middle, but then I kept like going on the edges. But I'm fine with that because it's still close to like my other targets and stuff. Where is the first my first one? My first. I think this is the yeah, first one. Yeah, this is the first one I shot. It was pretty good. It's just like I tried to do the same um, thing. I tried to make the plus sign go in the middle. I some I sorta did, just not in the bullseye. But it's still like I still like made it into the target. But I'm and it's still the happy. Second, right? Yeah, I'm still happy about like my choices I made with my with my targets and um that I got some bullseyes and some not that are bullseyes that much. So this is the first, the second, second, and then third, third and then fourth, fourth fifth, and fifth, and sixth. And, six. and then we'll uh, compare how it uh, it works in a distance of a hundred yards. So, so this is a hundred yards from the table. That's the the shed over there and this is how it worked so using my my daughter's uh, Ruger 1022 I did not change the the scope anymore so I just fired the first shot and it was down here and then uh, I go down like three dots from the crosshair from the zero and then there's the group so you can see like this uh, a decent group for 100 yards now uh, i haven't uh, kept the target that i use for my savage 64 rep but it's 
it's not really that good it's all like scattered it's not even a nice group so if you're planning to buy a rifle with uh, a budget uh, choices mm -hmm. between uh, 64F and 1022 I hope uh, this video will help you the uh, Savage is more cheaper than the Ruger but um, the Ruger will give you the, uh, the nice group it's more accurate and a little more target yeah it's kind of short because that was a uh, that was a um, what model was that baby uh. the Ruger 1022 carbine so it's kind of shorter the barrel of the uh, the um, Savage is longer and uh, if you want to see the features and the uh, other um, characteristic of these two rifles I have I think three more videos about these two um, semi-automatic rifles so it's a uh, it's a 22 long rifle caliber and it's uh, Ruger 22 and Savage 64F thank you very much bye